Wait. And we have uh, Cody Jaramillo from Bridgewater Raynham. He's a senior. He's going to be in the military next year. 35-7 and seven this year. 65-19 career. Coaches Jeff Francis, Scott Blake, and Lee Bean. His opponent is Terran Sean Jocks from Haverhill. 46-0 this year. He's a D1 champion last weekend. Two-point takedown there. Now, uh, and uh, Haverhill is in the... Uh, the black singlet and uh, Bridgewater Raynham, Cody Jaramillo, and the red. So these are both guys are uh, D1, but uh, Smurless made it to the finals last weekend. Lost to uh, Terrence. Mm. Although I think that was more of an upset last weekend. This is uh, we had Jaramillo ranked ahead. Terrence is a junior this year. He's been dominating all year. Yep. So he was a he was a prep school wrestler, and uh, some some sort of uh, I don't know, there's a problem at the school or something. Is had to go public. I'm not sure the details behind it, but uh, I'm sure Haverhill's happy to have him. Oh yes. Little switch there by Jaram Jaramillo. Two zero minute One. left in the first period. That's right. And you will, uh, given the size, you will not see either of these gents flying around the mat like the 103s. No, he's trying to stack the them here. Trying to, trying to stack them up on the shoulders. You know, Terrence has some freestyle experience. You can see that there with the tilt. These are both big men. They've got to be well over 250, if not up to 270, 280. 20 seconds left, first period. Eight seconds left. Oh, he rolls one is back. No yeah, bats, he rolls no through, bats. rolls through, no bats. That's going to be the first period. 2 0 for, for Terrence Jean Jacques. And while we have a little break here, I'd like to thank Mike Gatlis for joining us again this year and helping comment and uh, giving your insights. And also for the wrestling community, thank you for masswrestling.com and all the information. It's such a resource to all of us. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me here tonight. And John Sullivan here with Mike Atlas with the crew from Reading. Guys do a great job with the video. Our cameraman tonight, John and Diana Cremens, Christy Mate, directors Matt Leahy and Paul Redfern. And uh, just the tip of the iceberg compared to all the help we've had all year. Never had so much help fil filming wrestling. And we've we basically have filmed every varsity and JV match and loaded it to the internet. A lot of video. A lot of video, so every Reading wrestler, for better or worse, gets to see what they did on the mat, and it can only help. Definitely. My partner John Arena could not make it tonight. He's ice fishing in upstate New York, an old RPI reunion. And I, we're a little warmer than he is, I'm sure. Well, a little caution there. Terrence, I mean, um, Cody Jaramillo anticipating that whistle. Not a bad idea. Second period, a minute left. We're halfway through this match, the final match of the championship. The 
Russian there. He's got a Russian looking to trip. Cody. Jaramillo. Cody made him drop that with his attention on the leg. Yeah, he lo looked like he was going to drop to a single, but. Twenty-one seconds left, second period. Scores two-zero. Now the stall warning. This one on Jaramillo. No, out of bounds. Out of bounds. Bridgewater Raynham uh, had a good season this year too. Real strong. Actually had them ranked uh, first in the beginning of the season. Still pretty high up there, I believe. Mm -hmm. Three seconds left. So we go to the final period of Massachusetts wrestling this year. Terrence is up two. Cody Jaramillo. Terrence John Jocks. Throws the legs. It's not something you see too often with... Uh, yeah, not, not with heavyweights. It's actually... Uh, Coach Lee Bean tells me, uh, told me earlier that he does ride this. Oh. oh. That was just that was potentially dangerous, I guess. Again with the legs, trying to break down that that uh, that arm. Again, potentially dangerous. And Terrence actually tries to give him a hand on the fall that time. Gonna put those legs in. He's gotta actually hip in a little bit, but that's a that's a tough proposition for a big kid. Yep. Switches off this time. Moves to the side. Works on the arm. Now back on top. Put the legs in again. Again. Terrence John Jock is very strong to be able to stand up like that with that weight on his back. No problem either. <laughs> A minute and 21 seconds left here. 2 0. Terrence John Jock. A minute 20 left. And I think he's going to get out. No. Nope. Yeah, he's out. 3 1. 3 0. 3 0. I think he's angry for being lifted <laughs> from, from those headlocks and those legs. Three zero turns Sean Jocks. One minute left. Jaramillo with a double. Looks John like Jocks he's going to spin behind and get the two. He's got the two. Four five. five zero. Forty five seconds left. Thirty seconds left. Jaron Millo on a single here. Yeah. Excuse me. 20 Jason. seconds left. See if he can. There's John Jacques with that big, that famous heavyweight move. Just sort Nine of. Nine seconds left here. Falling on someone. He's going to spin. Does he get? Does he get? No, he does not get take the down. takedown. Only the one, one leg. Second left. And that's going to be it. 5-0. So Haverhill with two champions as well here tonight. As uh, Shawshin, Haverhill, and Burlington each go away with two championships here tonight. I don't know, great championship here tonight, Mike. My favorites.